what's going on everybody see here welcome back to some more colony survival i'm having an absolute blast managing my colony getting the automation stuff going i just i'm liking it i'm having a good time hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things anyways what's going on this episode well like i talked about last episode uh beds we're gonna put beds in here this is gonna be our like a bedroom area we're gonna build up to it so it sits about uh level with this right here and then you'll notice i got a couple different blocks in here well that right there is the beginning of the next two towers and that uh this one over here is going to be for wheat and this one i don't know what this one's going to be for but we're going to get like the walls built up so that way we have a water source because we're going to need water for bread so goal this episode is to get this done get beds in here build this up build this over build some walls and maybe like a field or two and then build some walls on here and get like a water bucket source and get that stuff going so hopefully uh yeah hopefully it's fun hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things anyways okay so first thing i need to do is we actually need to get a construction a digger area a construction a digger area like i said <laughs> and we're gonna clear that out and then let's go ahead and just pop these off real quick actually let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and grab this too and no, 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 no. There, there, and there. Okay. So they're going to dig that out. They're going to get that going. Awesome, awesome. And then we're going to put, uh, we're probably going to put some stone in there. Maybe we'll put planks. We'll put planks in there. Why not? We'll stop using so much stone for everything. We'll put planks in there as the bed, uh, as the flooring. Uh, and then we'll throw a bunch of beds in there and get that all going. And then we'll be going to build on top of it. And then we're going to start building our towers. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited for the wheat fields because the wheat's really going to help our food. And the the more food we have, the more people we can have, the more people we can have, the more everything else we can have. So, yeah, I'm really excited to get that going because, like, with more people, we can start getting into more ore processing, more we can get into gold processing, making money, making gold. Uh, It's exciting. It's going to be really exciting. I'm super excited. Do I need to hire more people? I think I might need to hire more people here. Um... How many colonists require a meal per day? There are eight more spare beds. I can recruit 50 more colonists. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get the three that we need. Recruit them. Awesome. And everybody's awake already. Awesome. Okay. So the digging should commence. That's going to get going. We're going to get that filled in with beds. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a marvelous time. They're going to love it. And our hole is dug. Very nice. Where are these guys coming from? Oh, they're coming from right here. All right, so I threw some crates right here, so that way these guys should all be good. All fine and dandy. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to throw planks in here. We're going to get beds in here. We're going to build up top. It's going to be wonderful. Okay, so we got a new bedroom area uh, for the most part. I mean, it it's going to work out pretty good. And then they're all going to be in here. And it's, I mean, it's a fairly centralized location, too. So let's go ahead and let's throw some beds in here. I kind of want to move basically like all of the beds in here. And then uh, having like you know have some other stuff everywhere like other where other places. So let's just go ahead and start throwing in. Um, I don't know if I can start removing beds. I think I should be able to because we have forty eight beds and thirty eight people, so I should be able to remove ten beds and we should still be good. All right, so I got most of the beds moved in here. I was kind of messing with like how to lay out the beds, but. I was trying to get like fancy. I was trying to like have them together. I don't know what the requirement is for these to actually like function as beds. So I'm just spacing them like this. And I think we'll have enough for now. We're just going to, I'm just going to finish this off, like finish cleaning up down there um, and get that stuff going. Also, I think we're going to move some smelting. Like this is going to be like our forging area down here. You know, this is where we're going to have like the forging and like the, the, all the, all the smelting and mining and stuff like that going. Um, Actually, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have beds nearby here either for miners no we need to let them come up for air sometime but i gotta say this is um man if there's a black plague in this game <laughs> this is a bad setup no <laughs> would that be terrible oh gosh that'd be awful all right so now that that's going i want to kind of work on the next wall area so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna start placing a wall in this area and uh we're gonna we're gonna work on our new tower okay so we got a new wall look at that extra fan where are you going bud 
I don't know where that guy. I don't know where that one thought he was going. Uh, so we got a new wall over here. We're gonna open this up, and then we're gonna dig this out, get it all leveled off, and then place grass. Then we're gonna figure out this wheat farm. We're gonna figure out how big of a wheat farm we actually need in here. So let's go ahead and get these cleared out of here. Now I'm trying to decide: do I want to start it off level with the ground right here? I think we will. I think we'll start it off level with with our with our thing right here. Now it kind of stinks because like this one's not level, but I'm not about to move all that down by one. So, nope, don't care enough to do that. Actually, you know what? We're gonna drop this all down by one. We're gonna drop this all down by one because that will. Is it sand over here? No, it's dirt. I mean, that'll pretty much level this all out. So we'll drop it down by one. It'll be fine. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to let them go to town on this. And then that should get cleaned out. Should get cleaned out fairly quickly. Let's go wait for our diggers to get over here. Get over here, diggers. Let's do it. And the area's dug. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm just going to do these ones by hand. Just to make things a little bit easier. All right, there we go. Okay, so now the wheat farm. So let's see, we want food, wheat farm. How big of an area can we make here? So like if I go from here to large. Okay, so what if we do from here to, we wanna do six by one by 13 again? Or maybe six by one by 14. Like that. And then another one, maybe six by one by 14, like that. That looks like it'll be good. Right on the borderline of too big, but I think it'll be good. And then let's see here. Um, Is this the center mark right there? That looks like the center mark. That'll work. That'll work just fine. And then let's go and grab a couple beds, throw those in here. Uh, One there. One there perfect okay so we have wheat farming yay we have wheat farming okay so now we also need to do water gathering now for that i'm thinking what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend our we need to do a tower on this side but we're gonna go into the water and i'm hoping we can maybe do some fishing in here as well so we can do uh fishing and water gathering and get that going so i guess i'm just gonna go ahead and use some planks and get these uh Get this tower built up as well. I gotta kind of like bring myself out from here. Now we do have to be careful because zombies can walk under here. So I do have to build the wall all the way down. And holy gosh, is that water loud? Let's see, this is the block right here, right? Yes, okay, so we're going to be filling this in. Monster kill one of your clones. What? Oh, what's going on here? How? How? Wait, am I outside the spawn area? <gasps> oh no! They can spawn within our base. Uh, we gotta fix that. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Uh, colony points. Where is banner safe zone? Upgrade 1500. Oh no, that doesn't cover all of them. Wait, is it just my wall? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? My wall is not safe. Huh. Oh, that is super. Oh, that's awful. Look at that. Look at that. My wall is not safe. I need to, <laughs> I need to do it again, <gasps> but it's 2,700 points just to go out one more. Oh, why do you hate me game? And I, oh, all right. We're going to have to keep an eye on this then. I don't want to move this in because like it's exactly the same. I want to keep it symmetrical. I want to keep everything like nice and symmetrical if I can. <sighs> Dang it. Should we just move the wall in one? 
We might be okay. We might be okay. Because I haven't seen any more spawn in here. Oh, that's such a bummer. Okay. Well, we're going to wait till we have 2,700 points, and then we're going to... Uh, now we're going to do it again. Ow, 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 ow. Zombies are attacking me. Ha! You can't get me now! Ha ha ha! Alright, I'm gonna try to get this area cleaned up and cleared off. Oh. I can't believe that. I can't believe that we were like just barely, just barely. I thought I had plenty of room to work with here. All right, so this tower is built. Um, I don't know why I built these out of wood. I should have just built them out of stone. I had more stone than anything else anyway. So eventually I'm going to swap everything to stone anyway. So we've got uh, a nice little water collecting area. I need to get this wall taken down as well. I'm a little bit worried about uh, a little bit worried about these guys, but I want to get this wheat going here. Uh, colony, recruit, recruit. Okay, so I should get those guys taken care of. We should get people in here. Now I'm a little, oh, man. 2,700 points is going to take a while. So I'm going to have to kind of sit here and guard these guys at night, but I think we'll be okay for the most part. Uh, and then I need to get the... I think we need to get a grind. Is it a grindstone going? We have two grindstones, and then we're going to need, I think, the oven, right? Blake, bake flour into bread. And then we need a water gathering station as well. So I guess it's just like a regular dude over here. I don't know for sure. So let's go and take this wall out. Uh, you know what? I could put a guard on each one of these, actually. I could put a guard over here. Because I don't imagine a lot are going to spawn in right there. I think it's going to be it's gonna be fairly quite few of them. And a guard on each one might, might, might work. Alright, so there's that. Uh, let's go ahead and take this out. And this is going to be our little area for gathering water, I guess. I guess that's what we're going to be doing over here. Uh, let's go ahead and put some torches in real fast, too. Uh, swimming in water is absolutely a terrible sound, just saying. <laughs> it's really bad. Okay. So how do we want to do our water gathering hut here? So maybe something like this. Like that. And then, what? Well, I guess we throw, what? Mantle. No. Uh... Let's see food fills buckets from open water requires water adjacent to the job location uh okay food water gather all right bud we have to make buckets we have one job let's go ahead and get that job hired recruitment recruit one more i can't believe that back wall is just barely just barely out of range that's ridiculous I'm curious how this water gatherer thing is going to work. <laughs> um, and then we need to get some grindstones. And then we need to get an oven going here. Are you the water gatherer? You must be the water gatherer. Go gather that water, buddy. How would you like your job just be to fill up buckets of water and place it into storage? Yeah, that's what he's doing. All right, cool. Looking good. Um, I think wheat... We're going to do the wheat stuff right here. So let's grab our grindstones. Uh, and let's grab an oven. And let's do... Uh, let's get these guys in here. So we'll do grindstone, grindstone, oven. It's going to be three jobs. Basically make flour infinitely and then make bread infinitely. What's this? Bread meal? Oh, bread and berry. Calling points when eaten, 20. Oh. Five flour and a water bucket of bread and meal times two. Wait. Bread and empty bucket. Do I have to have... Oh. Shoot. We need more buckets. Um, Let's get the workers. Is there a bucket in here? Bucket. Uh, Let's have like... Let's have like 25 buckets of water on hand. And then we need to hire three more people. 
And then here's our wheat farm. Okay, wheat farm's looking good. Now, I think wheat farm we're going to have to expand out quite a bit because, like I said, this only, I think it's every, like, three days. But let's go ahead and hire our three people in here. All right, perfect. So we're going to see how this goes. Uh, let's grab some bricks here. We're going to do... Nope, oh, this. And then let's grab these, like this. Uh, yeah, you guys don't have any wheat and stuff like that, I'm aware. There. Now they have like a little fancy, a uh, little fancy place. See, I like it. I like it. Actually, I kind of like that this corner was a uh, brick as well. Look at that. A fancy schmancy place. Okay, we got to keep an eye on this thing though. I think we're gonna have to throw guards in these areas to cover to cover these things. You know, I don't actually see any spawning in over here. Like they already spawned in, and there none of them spawned in over here. We might be okay. We might be okay. Okay, so that's going. Um, what do we need for the fishing thing? Isn't there a fishing uh, like a fishing guy? So food. Oh, fisherman. We have to unlock fisherman. Okay. Um, I mean, that'd be kind of handy too. That'd be kind of cool to have because I don't think there was a fisherman last time. Maybe there was a fisherman last time I played. I don't really remember. Let's look at our science here. Uh, what do we need for fishing? Copper nails, copper tools, planks, and water bucket. Oh, let's start that. It doesn't require any points. I like that. Uh, chicken farming. That's going to be exciting. And special digger, water pump. Not worried about those. Cook. Uh, technologists. Mints and shops. Herb farming. Beekeeping. Oh, beekeeping sounds fun too. Uh, okay, so yeah, one definitely did spawn on top of the wall. Because he's right there. Go ahead. Where, uh, where were you going there, guy? Yeah, we need to get that expanded out. <laughs> that needs to be expanded out. All right, it's a beautiful morning. Guess what? We've got wheat. We've already got some wheat for them to, to pick up. How nice is that? I know. Super exciting stuff. Oh, it's not done yet. It's almost done. Ah, poop. Okay. So I'd like to I'd like to expand my wheat farm quite a bit. So we get more of that going. I'd like to get the fisher stuff going. Oh, actually, fisherman is going to be researched now. So what are you missing? Copper nails? How come we're not making copper nails? Are you making copper nails? Oh, they're making, they're making, um, ooh, they're making stone, stone throwies for, for our defenses. Um, we might need more workbench dudes as well. You know what? We're going to replace a grindstone with a workbench just because that, yeah, that'll be better. We don't need we don't need that much of grindstone action anyways because we only get this every couple days anyways and we don't have like a lot of it to process so just having this guy over here uh being able to make stuff is, is good enough oh they need a storage crate there <laughs> okay that was a terrible spot for that let's put it right there all right then we'll move this one over here there you go buds okay so you're making something and then hopefully we'll get some research going here soon. Oh, we, they are gathering the wheat. Nice. Gather that wheat, buddy. Oh, we have 18 wheat. Where'd the flower go? Flower right there. Oh, it's exciting. It's happening. What are you missing? I wish I knew what you were missing. Oh, he was missing flour. Now he's... Uh -huh -huh. All right. Uh, let's do another layer. Oh, shoot. I, you know, I don't really want to do another layer until I get the wall fixed. Oh, I really don't want to. All right. So we got... Let's see. Uh, food we farm. We got a secondary 
level of wheat farmers because they're super handy. We need them. We have to have them. And we should be getting a bunch of food in here. Oh, let's grab that. Let's grab some crates real fast. Uh, I'm just kind of eyeballing where the crates go. I think they go there. And I think we're going to throw that there and that there. Okay, so now I know that this area ooh, this area's a little rough. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> we're going to hope it's fine. I don't know if it's actually fine or not, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So that all's going... We've got some wheat in here. Let's go ahead and get a uh, let's go ahead and get a light on this side over here. Get that lit up nicely. That lit up. Okay, so we've got wheat coming in now. Do we have bread? We have two hundred and three meals. Bread meal. We don't have a bunch of that. We have two hundred four hundred twenty five berries. Now, is someone making berry bowls? Like, is that a is that a thing that's being crafted or is that like a it's like we have bread bread 50 and crate bread and crate what a bread crate for storage or gifting crate is not used by colonist oh okay that's interesting so we've got that but I don't, <laughs> we've got that, but I don't know how we, how, how do we control how much food we actually have? So like our berries, we're not actually utilizing for food. We're not making, where is berry meal made? Is there a way for me to control that? I mean, it's not like a super huge thing because like the, the bread meal, we need um, four berries anyways. So not bad and that's gonna set till we have 400 of those okay cool so we're gonna let this run just a little bit and do we have fishermen yet okay so we have fishermen now which is super exciting so if i went to food requires a water adjacent to block location fishermen now is there a cooked fish type of food is that a thing hold on let me grab some blocks and let's go ahead and make ourselves a little dock out here, shall we? Um, something like, like this maybe. And then let's see what happens here. So if I do a fisherman, like that, like that, like this, and like this, then we throw some crates back in here. So let's just go ahead and throw a crate in betwixt those two and those two. Is that, is that going to work? Is that a thing? Like, and then do we cook the fish? Hmm. Let's see here. If we go to, uh, if we go to our colony thing and we go to, s where is, okay, scientist. What did that unlock? Fisherman unlocks the fish farmer. Unlocks the water, water gathering. Wait, what is fish farmer? So if I select this, construction, no, food, slower than the fisherman, but does not require, or does not require water nearby. How does a fish farmer work? I don't even understand that whatsoever. Okay. So we've got six jobs that need filled. Let's go ahead and let's get those six jobs filled, shall we? All right, six jobs are being filled. I want to see how this fisherman thing works. And I'm kind of curious if, like, they cook the fish into food. Is that a thing? All right, fisherman little buddies. Oh, whoa. Oh, he's got lobster? Fish and fish. Oh, is it because it's shallow? This guy's... Oh, he was catching lobster. Interesting. Does it like randomly change every now and then? Do we catch a lobster or not? Do we have fish? I think we have to wait for them to like deposit their fish, their fish goods. Oh, I think they just deposited fish goods. Yeah, lobster obsessed with stashes, stash, status and hierarchy. Uh, raw fish, organic, hormone free, grass fed. 
how is how is fish grass fed? I don't even I don't even understand. Uh, does the oven include any fish? No. Does the workbench include any fish? No. So what is what is the deal here? What do we do with a fish? Bread crate. I feel like something's got to happen with the fish. <gasps> cook. I bet you we need the cook. Uh, yep, we need the cook. Ooh, colony points though. Ugh. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Just for the sake of not having to use the colonist points right now, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna build a wall right here. Just to block out any zombies that may spawn on this area because I'd like to use those points for the fishing stuff. All right, so that looks good. We're gonna place the torch there. That looks good as well. Torch for you. Torch for you, torch for you. Okay. So let's go ahead and use our colonist points. Let's get the cook going. And the cook requires 20 raw fish and 20 firewood. Nice. And I think we should have the raw fish, no problemo. We have 75 fish already. Holy moly. And six lobster. Oh, we're bringing in food like crazy, I think. I feel like we are. All righty, so it's the next morning. And would you look at that? One tower is starting to look a little covered here. I know. I'm starting to go through it, putting the stone in. Uh, trying to get things organized now what i had to do was because i wanted this wall like completely blocked off right here is we had to make a uh, a nice little pathway here for these guys so they have a nice little pathway to go through it's all fan and dandy and uh yeah towers start slowly going up now i was kind of looking through this and it looks like we're gonna have to have olive farmers as well because if we want to make a perpetual stew we need boiling water, raw fish, berry, olive oil, bread, and firewood. So we're going to figure that out. And we're going to unlock a stove, which is, I mean, cool. But we're going to have to figure out the olive stuff. It's so like olive farmer, cabbage farmer too. We have a lot more. Uh, there's a lot more crops than what I'm used to. So like this is, uh, this is a very interesting thing here. I'm trying to decide if like olives, olives are grown on trees. So I feel like that'd be like, you know, like a tree tower kind of thing. But then like cabbage is a, I don't know if that would like a bush or what the, I don't, yeah. Uh, it's so confuzzled. I don't know where to, I don't know where to put things anymore. Like we're getting so many different things. It's crazy. All right, here it is. The cook is now complete. So the cook now did we unlock did we get any um a furnace oven grocery store science lab workbench we didn't get a did we not get a cook oh a stove right here used to fill to fill the surrounding area with delicious smells so um i guess maybe the cook could go here uh boiling water cooked fish cooked lobster perpetual stew and cake so i guess we kind of have to figure out what we want to make here right now we can make cooked fish days of use per item bonus points per day of use total points in stock pile 15. so maybe we turn down the stew and the cake until we can actually make it uh raw fish olive oil oh we need olive oil and honey Oh, wow, we need honey for cooked lobster. I don't have any honey. So, but we do need some olive oil. So let's try to get an olive garden going real fast as well. Ah, <laughs> you see what we did there? An olive garden. Um, how do I want to do this? Olive, olives grow on trees. So I guess maybe this area, like we already have a wood farm here. Let's, let's get, let's get some trees in here. Let's, let's get an olive garden in here. Mm, olive garden. That's so funny. All right, I'm hoping the all is we can do in like a six by one by 13. Food. 
beekeeper. We don't have that olive farmer. Okay, so if, can I do this whole area? I can. And I'm kind of curious to see what it's going to look like, actually. So let's put that there. And let's go ahead and grab some beds. You know, the usual standard stuff. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what's going to go. What's going to happen here, though? Because they should be trees. Let's go ahead and recruit, fill all jobs. Fantastic. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm at 50 of 50. Ooh. Um, okay, it looks like we're gonna have one olive farmer. I wanna see how this goes. I wanna see this olive farm thing happen. Hey, he's wearing a green shirt. I mean, olive, green, olive, uh, should be. It is a tree! Are you gonna do more than one? Oh, wait. You know what? Berry, temperate. Taiga. Whoa. Why did he miss that spot? Do we have olive? Saplings? Wait, why didn't you plant right here? I'm wondering if it doesn't, if this guy doesn't have enough saplings. Or if maybe it's like a super weird layout. Hmm. It might be a weird, it might be a weird layout. I don't know. We're going to wait. We're going to see what happens here. Because like I said, all of this should grow on trees. And actually the tree itself shouldn't be harvested. Like cut down. It should just be shook. Hmm. Are they going to have tree shakers here? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I want to see what happens. All right. So I can't hire any more people right now. Um, And I think... By the, the amount of fish that we have, 329 fish, we're probably a little overdone on the fish. So, let's actually go ahead and remove said spot. Can you go become an olive farmer? Yes. Perfect! That's exactly what I need you to do. Awesome! Um, and then we have somebody cooking here. They're trying to make stuff. So boiling water, two buckets of water, and firewood. What are you missing? You're missing... Oh, you're trying to do olive oil. But we don't have olive oil yet. So you're going to have to just sit tight there, bud. And wait for the olive oil to get here. Because we're waiting. we don't have any olives yet. So still waiting on those. Those trees are a little slow going. Still no trees. <gasps> There's an olive tree. So how does this work? Do you cut down the olive tree? What happens? I don't know what happens here. We're going to watch. We're going to see what happens. <gasps> He's going to the trees. You are going somewhere else. Where are you going? Are you going to get some food? Are you hungry? Do you need a snack? Looks like they needed a snack. Okay. So what happens with the olives? I need to know. What do you do? Okay. They're gathering olives. Oh. So they just have to gather some olives. They deposit, they deposit them in here. I don't see them, but that could be because they got taken immediately and turned into olive oil. Maybe. Okay. Are you going to drop off? Oh, wait. I don't know. Because this guy's going like back and forth between two trees. Now he's going to that one. He's going to stop with that one. I don't know. These guys are going to be super busy. Uh, where is the olive stuff? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're gonna get some, like, new kinds of food, maybe? New kinds of foods going on? Oh, we have another stove. Oh, it's because it's probably telling us that we can make more than one. Go drop those olives off. They're not gonna drop olives off. <gasps> Eight olives. Oh my gosh. Okay, olives grows in trees. 
We already knew that. Who's making olive oil? I'm just saying, if we're having, like, fried fish with olive oil and stuff, like, it better be delicious. I feel like we might need another cook. We might need another another grindstone maker dude, too. Because we're getting olives, like, pretty quick. Well, I thought we were. Oh, you ate olive oil. Okay, so you have olive oil. So you're going to make our first... Are you making cooked fish? Is that our first thing? Oh, he's making boiling water. Um, But I don't see any cooked fish yet. You're making cooked fish? Looks like you're making cooked fish. Oh my gosh, we have 28 olive oil. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Hey! Cooked fish. Days of use per item. So they get two... Oh, look at that. I got an olive branch achievement. So this cooked fish gives days of use per item. So one villager gets two days of use out of this one cooked fish. No way. Only points per day of use. Total points per item, 30. <gasps> or wait, one fish is like two foods, so they can eat it twice. Oh, that could be it. Oh! It's amazing. Okay, I'm thinking we might need another grindstone here. <laughs> I'm thinking we're gonna need a lot of people here. Um, yeah, we're gonna start scaling up here a little bit because we have plenty of well, I mean, olives are okay. We have we have enough olives, I guess. They're kind of keeping they're kind of keeping up decently. We don't really have any wheat. I think wheat we could probably increase the. Uh, we could probably expand our wheat farms by like a lot. Fish, we're way good. Way good on fish. Honestly, the cooked fish is better than the the bread meal anyways. But to get this perpetual stew, we need three bread. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and let's turn down our bread making. Or our bread meal. You know what? Actually, maybe we should let that hit max. And then start making other foods. That's probably what we should do. Okay, so we have almost 3,000 points here. Uh, we are going to go ahead. We're going to do our expansion. Uh, banner safe zone. Upgrade that. And the reason for that is so that way we can get out of this red area here. So now we should be 100% good to go. And we don't have to worry about zombies coming in through other anywhere else. And then, uh, yeah, basically we're just going to let our points accumulate. And I think that's going to end this episode. We've done a lot. I feel like we've done a lot. Um, I think next episode, uh, what I'm going to do, I might, what I might do, I might do a little work between here and there. Of getting some more farms going and getting some more points going because I think we need more wheat farms for sure. And then, uh, you know, we just kind of need to expand everything a little bit here in order to get more food going in. So I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, I'm having such a good time. But yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. This is Colony Survival, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.